Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We've got a log here that's hollow. I've had it just stored away for years, probably longer than any of my children have been alive. I was on a job, they had me cut this tree down and I just liked it because it was hollow and we've never had anything to do with it until now. We've got a pond with a few catfish in it. We did have a lot of catfish in it, but little by little they've just, we haven't really eaten that many of them. They're just starting to disappear. And in the past, I had a boat to sink out there and two female catfish had eggs already laid in those little cubby holes when we pulled it out. So I'm thinking we can actually raise our own baby catfish if we'll give them a nest. So what we're gonna do is build a couple nests with this hollow log and get it in the pond. For this spring, they will be hopefully having babies. Let's get with it. I'm gonna close the front off like this so the fish can swim in and can defend only one side. He won't have to worry about, the, she won't have to worry about the back side. So that's how we're gonna do that. I realize this will probably be rotted and gone in a year. But if we raise a crop of catfish babies, it will be worth it. That's how easy it is, just that quick, that easy. It's gonna be underwater, it's gonna be hidden. Nobody's gonna care what it looks like. The catfish can definitely defend their eggs in there. So we're gonna make two more, and we're gonna get them out there. There's the second one done right there. It's gonna sit like that. And one more. All right, we've got them built. Let's take them and put them in the pond. All right, heading out to drop these in. I hope they <laughs> hope they sink. They might float. <laughs> if they float, we'll have to revamp. Get us a different idea. Put that rotten one in uh, about right there. It's gonna float, ain't it? <laughs> uh, go up to it and push it down in the water and fill it with water. Cause it's got a huge air pocket. It won't go down. It won't go down. All right, we'll just let's just let it float there, and we'll come back and maybe sink it later. I don't know. Let's try the others and see if they sink. They're more solid. It's starting to rain, so hurry. She'll sink eventually, but who knows where it'll be when it sinks. But I guess it don't matter. Ain't gonna sink. Look how buoyant that thing is. <laughs> Pull 
it back in. Pull it back in the boat. We'll do something else. <laughs> Come on back. Them boys can navigate a boat, let me tell you. All right, what we're gonna do is put them in the water here in the shallow end where they can't get away from us and soak them with water for several days and hopefully they'll get to where they'll sink because with gravel, they won't even hardly go down. They're way too buoyant. They've been sitting in the shed dry for 17 years. Whatever it is, it don't wanna sink. So we're gonna have to hit it with a little bit of time. All right, we could not get these jokers to sink. We put them in the water here, tied them up, and we left them for a week. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill a hole through just like this. I thought we were. The battery's kinda dying, I guess. Anyway, we got this hole drilled. We're gonna put an eye bolt through here so that we can actually locate this later. We don't want to lose these. I don't care if we lose them, but I want to be able to pull them up and take a peek in there and see if catfish have eggs in there. So that's what we're going to do. Woo, that's almost too small. Let's see if we can get him to go on down. Never use a drill as a hammer. All right, I'm going to put this big washer on there so that it don't pull out when we're trying to raise it up. All right, we're going to get out here and get these set, hopefully. We hope. I've got David here. He's going to be my cameraman out in the water. All right, in goes the gravel. Pour half of it in. Catfish like gravel beds to nest on anyway, so this may just work out perfect even though we're doing it out of necessity. That's about half. I've got this paracord here. Lay this booger over. This is heavy. Throw us a good knot on there that won't come loose over time. I'm gonna go around the main line twice and right back up through. Now we're about where I wanna be. I wanna put it off on this side. Okay. I'm not sure. Yep, <clears throat> it's supporting it right now. We'll see. Here we go, overboard. Ah! That's the beauty of it is now I can control the descent and it is going down. I can control the descent and I can make the top stay on top. It cannot lay upside down that way. All I got to do is pick it up, slowly let it down. There it is. I know it's sitting on the bottom right there. So what we're going to do now we're going to cut this paracord. We're going to tie it to this jug. And that's where it's going to stay. And we'll check it later and see if we got eggs in there, maybe. I'm not sure 
if I will try to pull it up or not. There's that. Okay, I got one more to go. All right, we're gonna get over here and set us another one out. I know where the deep places are in this pond because I had it built 19 years ago. All right, we're gonna dump the rest of the gravel in this one. It is so much fun to do these kind of experiments, I tell you. Lots of fun. Now, we'll tie the paracord on there. Around once, around twice, and right up through. Cinch it tight. There you have it. Beautiful. All right, here we go. We're gonna toss it overboard. Hopefully the gravel won't all dump out. I'm gonna actually toss it in like this and then it'll straighten up. This thing weighs about a hundred pounds. Ah! Go on down now. It's not filling up with water. Let me give it a little push. Oh boy, it don't. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Go on down. It's very easy to pick back up. I'm hoping that it's going down properly. Let me pull it back up, take a peek. No, it's standing up on the edge. They might still go in it and nest. I need to try to get the gravel. I need to try to get the gravel up to the front edge too. Balance this out. Now it's go. It's balanced right now. I'm gonna let her on down. All right. Let's let's tie on this jug here. We've got them in the water throughout the early spring or summer, whenever, if I can figure out when catfish are gonna be nesting, we might pull it up and take a little sneak peek in there and see if we've got a catfish. My past experience would tell me that the catfish would not swim out of it if you slowly brought it up. I had catfish, this is the boat that sank. I had catfish nesting in that one right there and that hole this is all dirty because we just, just have it out in the elements but i had a catfish nesting in that hole and that hole right there and when i pulled this boat out they stayed in there and so i believe that if we pull them up and check them that they'll still be in there and we can see if we're actually having success so that's the plan we hope you'll be with us throughout the spring and summer whenever we check it. And we'll see how successful it was. And if you have this issue with your catfish getting less and less in your pond, but you still want more without going and spending a bunch of money, let's just see if this works. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.